sucking, no pulling it down. So these two processes are important for the plant too. We do that anyhow, but we are just fine tuning it, adding some little more elements. So 500 brings in the calcium. It's connected to the moon and it is applied on the earth, in our farm soil. Then tomorrow, we will apply this medicine called 501, which is uh, the opposite polarity. And this is made from quartz crystal, silica. It's connected to the planet Saturn. And we are applying it in the cosmos. We are applying it in the air. We call it farming the air. Okay, here we are farming the soil. There we try to farm the air to pull in this energy. So this is the two polarities, the earth polarity and this is the cosmic. And we try to find the balance, bring these two energies in a balance. Okay. Then there are these six medicines which are over here. 502, made from yarrow. It brings sulfur and potassium and it brings a connection to Venus. This one. And 503, made from chamomile flowers. It brings in a strong nitrogen element and it's connected to the planet Mercury. And 504, the nettle, the stinging nettle, which gives all the scratching, it's connected, it brings in a lot of iron and magnesium, and it's connected to the planet Mars. And the bark of the tree, oak, 505, has a lot of calcium, and it brings the moon influence. Calcium again, you see the moon. And 506 is the dandelion, the flower that you blow, I mean the seeds, round ball, has a lot of silica it's connected to the planet, Jupiter. And then this one, the antidepressant valerian, has a lot of phosphorus and it's connected to the planet, Saturn. So these are the original medicines given by Dr. Steiner okay, in his lectures, lecture 4 and lecture 5. Now there was a clever lady called Maria Thun. A German lady, a hero in our in our BD uh, world, she died. But she did about 40 years of research experimenting with the planting calendar. Every day sowing one seed crop, one root crop, one flower crop. And every day monitoring how long has the root grown and things like that. So she was really amazing work she did. So what this lady did, she discovered or made this thing called cow patch with manure integrating all these three medicines. This is one, this is two, and this is another third set of medicines. She integrated these three into one medicine, and that is what we call as a CPP manure. Okay. So it's a very, very useful medicine in any farm, organic or biodynamic. So for BD500, we use cow manure as the raw material. So in CBP also we use this cow manure as the raw material. In BD501 we use the quartz. The silica is actually quartz. So here we put rock dust. Okay? This rock powder, borewell soil. Okay, that brings in that quartz element. And then we are putting mm -hmm. egg cells, which actually have, brings in the calcium from a living source. Not from tuna, from the mineral, but it's from a living, uh, you know, uh, being that we've got this living calcium. So we are putting cow manure, sprinkle it with egg cell, sprinkle it with 200 grams rock dust, and then we mix it for 20 minutes, not one hour, 20 minutes. And then we introduce it into a pit, which we are going to make with a brick. And to that, we add all these six medicines. What we call as two sets. That means this is ten sets. Ten grams of each medicine is there. So we call it ten set. Set meaning we never use this medicine alone. We use them in a set. Okay? 502 in a compost, we put all six <coughs> together. CPP, we put all six together. If you make a seaweed or any liquid manure, we put all six, six, six together. So we call this a set. And this is 10 grams. So this is 10 sets. 
One set means one gram of IO2, one gram of IO3, one gram of IO4. That you would call as one set. So for the CPP, we add two sets in one set. So the recipe is 60 kg cow manure. Nachi asked a good question, is it a lactating cow or can we use normal cow? It's always ideal. There is That's the goal we reach towards. Ideally, a lactating cow, just like the cow manure we use for DD, fine with. But if for some reason you don't have, then you can use it from a dry cow, a cow that's pregnant, not doing the thing, or from a calf or a bull. Okay? So the ideal is to use the lactating cow. Then we add 200 grams excellent again the same question is it free range chicken or can we go for the factory chicken from where we get the scent again the same answer ideally free range chicken from your own farm you collected it you made the eggs the children are eating it and their cells comes from your own the thing that would be the ideal but if we keep waiting for the ideal to happen it will never happen so we keep that in mind but we use any excess we went and got some eggs from the market and so it has a lot of hormones or an antibody maybe but it has more in the inside but the cell as such may not be that much affected as the real core inside the yolk and the yellow 200 grams rock powder Again, the same question, where is the best rock? What we have found over many years of working with this, the borewell soil seems to be the easiest. A lot of people everywhere are making borewell. You can start the how immediately a borewell. So there is a lot of rock dust we see everywhere. And this rock dust is good because it's already, that machine grinds Grinding. it very nice like a fine powder. So it has already done most of our job. And it has gone 10 meters, 100 meters down. So bringing minerals from deeper layers of the earth. So we think the borewell soil is good. But there was discussion, can we go to a granite quarry? Fine, yes. That also has maybe from the surface. But there you'll need a little bit more work. You'll have to sieve it. It'll still be gritty. You may have to again powder it and things like that. So these are the basic ingredients. We're going to weigh 60 kilos. We are going to weigh 200 grams eggshell, we are going to weigh 200 grams rock dust, and then two sets of <laughs> So we put it in a pit, three by two by one, because we all like feet, to use the feet system, the British system, three feet wide. Two feet long, oh, wait, three feet long and two feet wide, and one foot deep. And all around you put brick, a nine inch brick. The purpose of the brick is only to prevent the soil, like we are discussing this trend, the soil is falling in continuously. What shall we do? Should we put stone? Should we build a wall? Should we put bamboo slats? So the same question for CPT. The, the soil will keep falling. So we use brick, but India is one of the few places where they use brick. Most places they use wood. China, some places they use wood. Europe, definitely wood. They make it in a big oak barrel. You know, they used to have water stored in, or wine and other things in oak batteries. Okay. Three by two. So we put it in. We mix it for 20 minutes. That thing, we put it on the table. 200 gram eggshell, 200 gram rock dust. Mix for 20 minutes. And we put it into that pit. And then add two sets of it. Finish. Job closed. But after three weeks, you take it out. Okay. And then put it again on the table. Mix it for 15, 20 minutes. Remove any, there may be earthworms or stones or dung beetles or whatever. And then put it back. Okay. In three weeks? Also? Yeah, zero, then three weeks. Okay. We call it the first turning. Okay. okay. 
Then again after another three weeks, you do a second turning. Okay. Then again after three weeks, it's ready. Ready for you. Okay. So the time taken is three weeks plus three weeks plus three weeks. Nine weeks. It's approximately two months. So this medicine will take two months to get ready. In case it's not moist enough, you've seen, I've seen, think I've seen some pictures yeah, where they put some gunny right. sacks or, or we something. put a sack on top, gunny sack on top, wet gunny sack. Not necessarily gunny sack. In China they use Turkish towel, white towel, you know. Yeah, yeah. Old yeah. Towel. Better not to have colored towels because with huh? water, yeah. the color will start going into the cow manure. Ah. Mm. So, sir, what if it gets that? dry, once a week we pour water, not on ah. this, on the brick. Okay. okay. We pour water on because it absorbs ah. and then by capillary action it uh, sends the water here. Yeah. But if this is dry, I mean if bricks are dry, ah, it will pull all no, the sorry. moisture from the cow manure mm. inside and the cow manure will get desiccated. So periodically, in my place, once in maybe three, four days, mm. summer height of Chitra, Madam and all, we have to practically every third day water the thing. Here it's a little bit more moist, higher elevation, maybe once a week mm. could be enough. But someone has to all the time keep watch, open the sack and look in if it is dry or something like that. Okay. Should be moist. So we have to... Which one? Uh, the pit. Ah. Like but uh, means that uh, moisture should be there. Yes? Not, yeah, Wet. there must be uh, like we say the puttu consistency. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Puttu, you know, we don't need dry rice. Yeah, 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 we yeah, yeah. don't yeah. make it like a porridge and drink yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just enough that rice. Uh, so we say the puttu consistency. Moist but not wet. So, so what is the ideal time to prepare the CPP? CPP, you see, BB 500 yesterday. Yeah. This is the time, October, the November. Time. That, now that it's the Dakshinayana yeah, time. Okay. 501 during the Uttarayana. Okay. You do it in March, April. Okay. But for CPP, there's no time. Okay. Yeah, you can do it any time in the year. Okay. Only look for node, they don't making it exactly on a node okay. time or something okay. So, so apart like, from that, uh, when it's uh, time of uh, turning yeah. and uh, if there is a node, like, uh, can we extend for a day or like, you know, no, a you, day you are the one going to decide when you're going to take it out. So if it's a node, you say, okay, we do it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. because you're the director of the whole operation. Okay. And uh, basically you have to, that's why the, the thing we use as a planning tool. Mm. 